story for us. Hey, Susan. Hi, Dana. So Facebook going even further than other social media players. Mark Zuckerberg saying that they are extending the block that they placed on President Trump's Facebook and Instagram account indefinitely and for at least the next two weeks until the peaceful transition of power is complete. Meantime, Twitter telling us at Fox that they will keep the public informed, including if further escalation in our enforcement approach is necessary. Now, President Trump's Twitter account still seems to be locked at this hour until maybe later on tonight after he had to first remove three tweets that violated Twitter's platform rules. Now, it's not just Twitter and Facebook. Also, Snapchat has locked President Trump's account. Shopify, the second largest e-commerce player in North America, said that they are terminating stores affiliated with the president. Social media has been criticized for giving President Trump too much leeway and helping incite the violence. So we have seen increased policing since this summer's George Floyd protest. But that policing only applies to conservatives, according to GOP members and President Trump. Users also point out that it's not just President Trump. Other world leaders have tweeted out calls for violence with no repercussions. Now, Twitter argues that world leaders are treated differently because their tweets, their posts are akin to public policy announcements. Dana. Okay. okay. Um, yeah. I'm, we're going to be talking about that. Susan Lee, thank you so much. So to continue talking about that, let's bring